and Haley's mother, Paula Stevenson, uh, joins me now from Sutton Coalfield holding a picture of Haley. Um, Paula, you've waited three probably very painful years uh, for this verdict. Are you satisfied by what's happened today? No, I'm not satisfied. I am shocked because the hospital on the 22nd of October gave us a full admission of liability. So if the hospital admitted that they neglected it and failed Haley, I'm shocked by what the coroner has said. Was it something you were expecting? Unfortunately, I was expecting that. What would you like to see happen now, though? What can you do? What can I do? Um, I set up the Hale Trust, so it's Haley's Early Awareness Lifeline. So it's um, a website that is dedicated to campaigning for family, patient and family activated rapid response teams. When you have a feeling that something is wrong with your child, you can activate this rapid response team. Uh, a specialist team comes from intensive care straight away and they ask you, they ask you the family what's wrong. This is successful in America, it's a wonderful model and it has been rolled out all over America and it's saved thousands of lives. Presumably, uh, well obviously, that you don't want any other family to have to go through, or any other mother to have to go through what you've been through. But two other children have already died. Since Haley died, I predicted this and I told the um, doctor, I told the chief medical officer, this will happen again unless you let the family call the rapid response team. And one of the two of the deaths were serious untoward investigations, and one of them was predictable. If you can predict, predict something, you can prevent it. Paula, thank you very much indeed for joining us this lunchtime. Thank you.